Thanks for joining me for the November Society Chat update. As you know, Diseases of the Colon and Rectum is our official journal of our American Society of Colon and Rectal Surgeons, and it's the world's leading publication in colorectal surgery. It ranks in the top 10% of all peer-reviewed surgery journals. The DCNR Monthly Journal Club is a virtual monthly meeting facilitated by the DCNR Journal Club Convener and hosted by a different North American academic institution each month. A new colorectal topic is selected each month and related DCNR articles are provided via free access on the DCNR website. The interactive session includes a presentation of two of the nominated articles as well as a critique by a local panel of experts and in addition a DCNR journal selected guest speaker. Visit the DCNR website or follow at DC or Journal on Twitter to learn more about the next Journal Club meeting. Also, a gentle reminder that our membership dues expire at the end of the calendar year. I myself have been a member of ASCRS for 23 years and I don't plan to break my streak. You can easily renew your dues online at FASCRS.org by clicking the button at the top right of the page. I'd now like to introduce Drs. Yosef Nasseri and Heather Yo as co-chairs of the Communications Committee, who are going to give us this month's committee update. Welcome. Hi, my name is Yosef Nasseri. I'm a colorectal surgeon in Los Angeles, part of a multi-specialty surgery group affiliated with Cedar sinai Hospital, and I'm a co-chair of the Communications Committee. Hi, my name is Heather Yo. I'm a colorectal surgeon in New York City at Weill Cornell, New York Presbyterian. We're really excited to be here to update you on the Communications Committee. Um, I'm one of the co-chairs of the Communications Committee and we're, as I said, happy to be here for the discussion. I'm excited to talk to you about the purpose of our committee. Our Communications Committee uh, is here to promote the mission of the American Society of Colon and Rectal Surgeons. And we're really trying to promote that mission to a diverse audience, including physicians, patients, scientists, and trainees. Uh, we have a lot of goals for our committee. It provides interactive venues for discussion, information, and education regarding all aspects of colorectal care. And we really have two target audiences. Um, we have our fellow physicians and trainees. We want to provide them the best available resources so that they can guide their patients and also understand the current literature that's going on. And we also want to target our patients and provide them with information and help them understand who we are as a society and how important it is to see a colorectal specialist. Um, so again, uh, our committee is a pretty big committee. Yosef's going to talk to you about the different parts of the committee and what's going on. The Communications Committee is a merger of two prior uh, committees, the Social Media and the Public Relations, where we have a lot of tasks, and in order to accomplish everything, we had to divide and conquer. We created six subcommittees, each one led by a different member of the committee in order to get everything done. I'm gonna go through each one of the subcommittees and briefly describe them. The first subcommittee is the Facebook subcommittee. We have two groups in Facebook groups. One is the open Facebook group that is geared more for the society to post updates and also place information for the patients. The second and the more important group in Facebook is the closed group where all of us kind of get on it and ask for advice on cases and tidbits and life advice, etc. The next subcommittee is the Twitter subcommittee. That is more geared towards the inter-colleagues communications between surgeons and colorectal uh, surgeons. In it, we're gonna be putting up polls, featuring some Sentinel articles, featuring uh, fellows, um, and also kind of touching on some historical aspects of the society. The third subcommittee is the Instagram subcommittee. That is the one social platform that is the most up and coming, it's very visual and we're gonna leverage that to, again, reach out to patients with pertinent information. The fourth subcommittee is the patient information or patient education subcommittee. It's the pamphlets that you guys have in your offices. We already have 26 
topics in print. We have gone back and have been updating a lot of the older topics. So we're working currently on 10 topics that should be updated by mid-January. The fifth subcommittee is the awards committee. So on annually in the meeting, we give out two main awards. One is the Jagelman Award given to an organization that is promoting colorectal cancer awareness and, 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 and care, etc. And then the Local Hero Award that goes out to someone that lives near the place where the meeting is being held, who is usually a patient or a survivor of colorectal cancer and now is a champion increasing, again, awareness uh, of colorectal cancer and screening. Finally, and I think the most exciting subcommittee and, and achievement is the podcast subcommittee. The name of the podcast is Gut Check. It was the ultimate result of a contest of up to 50 names that were kind of thrown into the pot. We went through the process of selecting our host topics. Each episode features a clinical topic and a non-clinical topic. Our upcoming guest is Dr. Scott Steele. And in the future, we're going to be featuring more influential people. You can listen to the podcast on Apple, Spotify, or anywhere else where you usually normally listen to any podcast. If you want to join our closed Facebook group, there is a series of questions. Uh, One of them that you will need is your membership information so that we can confirm you are a member of ASCRS. So just have that ready when you search for the ASCRS Facebook group. We really want everyone to listen to the podcast. Again, that's on Apple, Spotify, or anywhere else if you Google Podcasts. Um, The second thing you can do is you can follow us on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, And the third thing you can do is if you have great ideas or information you want to share, reach out to either Yosef or myself, and we'll be happy to push it out through our proper channels. So thanks so much. Well, thank you both for joining me today and for the update on the Communications Committee. To our viewers, always remember this is your specialty and ASCRS is your society. You are part of our 123-year legacy of surgeons who've made our specialty what it is today. I look forward to seeing you next time.